Hey y'all and good morning. I don't remember if I ended yesterday's vlog so I just ended that one. Um, I'm, get, I'm gonna get better y'all, I'm gonna get better. Especially since my daughter Kat's just like exploding. She already got like 130 views on her first video. I probably don't have 130 views combined. But anyway, that's okay because it's not, a, it's about community over competition. <laughs> she's got 130 views all right so she's doing really really well and if I remember I will put a link to her video in the description box below um, or to her channel because by this time by the time you see this she will have um, like really like um, posted more videos or at least that's the theory in fact by the time you see this she may be here and she's gonna film a video with me so she's gonna do a teach I have a a segment on my channel that I'm just starting and it's teach me Tuesday so she's gonna teach me how to do something uh, makeup wise or maybe a couple things makeup wise so that'll be fun but I need to get ready really quick I have an MLS meeting it's multiple listing service meeting this morning at 8 15 and then I have lunch with a former well, employee technically uh, I was gonna say co-worker because I always consider us working together so anyway she used to work for me at Chase and we're gonna meet for lunch at one downtown at Nima Marcus that's where she's working now and she wants to talk about real estate so I thought that would be fun and good to see her again because I haven't seen her since I have not seen her in six years that's crazy <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna go see her today and then I think that's all I have planned. So it's not too bad of a day, but I will take you along as much as I can. Probably not to the lunch thing because she knows that I, I do videos, but I mean, you know, like being in one, it might be a little, and plus we're catching up. You know, it's gonna be girl time. But I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey, good morning everyone. I am not, did I already say good morning? I think I did. I'm not ready yet. My hair is still wet and I just have foundation on. But this is not what I came on here to tell you. Hmm. I'm trying to see the view. That's what I'm doing here this morning. Trying to see the view. So, um, let me show you what's going on. I, here's our bed. And when we first moved in, one little note to self. I always sleep closest to the bathroom door. Don't know why. That's just what I do. So when we moved in here, our bed was like this at the old house. Marvin slept on that side. I slept on this side. But remember, I, I sleep closest to the bed, to uh, the bed closest to the, the bathroom. So I started sleeping on this side. He started sleeping on this side. His back started hurting him. My back started hurting me. Never had that problem really before. And I just thought, maybe I pinched a nerve. Maybe I slept wrong. Maybe who knows what happened. So I turned the mattress around. But still, what was the head of the mattress would now be at the feet. Be on my side, the correct side. But yeah, you, you see what I'm trying to say? Am I making sense? Am I confusing folks? Who knows? So I flipped the, mattr I fl flipped the mattress back around. Marvin's going to start sleeping on this side. I'm going to sleep on this side. I don't know if all the cosmic energy in the world is going to be disrupted by this, but that's another story for another day. Moving along to this part. So this mirror used to be over here and I would like take a picture of myself in the mirror. Now I'm like, this is my side of the bed though. So should I move the mirror over here? And then I was trying to say, okay, like if I'm doing whatever, what are you going to see in the shot? Does that make sense? Like if I'm showing you my outfit now, I could just put this against the wall. This is a little, can y'all tell it's like a little turned a little bit, whatever. Anyway, I don't know. And now I'm not wearing these shoes to work, but I'd love to. They're like little genie shoes or something. I don't know where we left off, but I have made an outfit change and I've switched around the room. I don't know what I've told you guys, but I think I told you about the bed situation. We were both having back problems. I turned the bat mattress around. That didn't work. I normally like to sleep next to the bathroom. 
it's just the way I am. So now I'm gonna see how it is. I, I flip the mattress back around and I'm gonna sleep on that side of the bed closest to the window. So if the cosmic energies of the universe seem out of whack, that could be why, I don't know. I just, I normally sleep next to the bathroom. When we go to a hotel, when we travel, I always pick the side closest to the bathroom. Who knows? So I also switched out the nightstands because his nightstand, my nightstand, I switched them around. Yes, I could have just emptied out the drawers and or took out the drawers and put them back in, but that's not what I did. I also scrunched part of the molding. <laughs> But hey, you know what? You're not gonna see it. It's in the corner. I'm gonna put a plant there anyway. And over here, I was gonna move the mirror to that side. I'm gonna put a chair there. I'm like 99% sure I'm putting some sort of chair situation over there. And so I'm leaving the mirror right here. So speaking of the mirror, you wanna see what I'm wearing today? I mean, why wouldn't you? I had an outfit change. I was wearing a cheetah print shirt and I realized I had just worn it the other day. So. I'm wearing a black knit blazer from JCPenney's and I, this shirt is probably also from JCPenney's and I don't know where the jeans are from because I can't remember what jeans I'm wearing today, but they're probably from JCPenney's as well or Old Navy. And then of course I have on my favorite Target booties. I love these things and I live in them and I'm not even going to apologize for it. So my hair looks really short. looks like it's just like right here, but actually I have like really long hair. <laughs> And I don't really do anything with it. I wear it the same way every day, but that's okay. It's me. It's okay. So now I'm off to get a hot chocolate. On today's agenda is um, I need to do a drive-by of this one property in the HOA. I know I'm like stopping that, but um, I'm still kind of doing it. So I need to go do this drive-by because this um, resident complained about another resident's yard. So I'm going to go check that out. And I am, I have a lunch date at one downtown Dallas. So that'll be fun. It's with a former employee of mine. She wants to get into real estate. So she wants to ask me some questions about being a realtor. So I'm happy to answer. I think I also need to clean out the cat box. <sighs> also, this is the current office situation. Not much has changed. Although I did take out some of the Easter stuff because I took it to the thing last night. But this is going into the garage and this will get cleaned up. Hopefully within the next eight days because that's when my daughter's coming. This is the desk that we made. Notice how I said we made it. No, we didn't make it. We just watched. We watched Marvin make it basically. Me, myself and I. My cat is trying to get something in the window. That's outside. Oh, and here's the other cat. At least he's using the scratching post instead of my furniture. I'm in downtown Dallas, couldn't find a parking space, so I had to park in a parking building. And now I'm trying to head to meet my friend. She works at Neiman Marcus. Oh, I see the valet sign now. <laughs> that would have been helpful a little bit ago. So now she works on the sixth, sixth floor or something like that. So anyway, I gotta go find her. Slightly crazy, but we're going to the Zodiac restaurant. We're almost there. I'm gonna stop filming because it's gonna be weird. <laughs> Okay, you know how when you park somewhere, you think you know where you parked? I think I'm over here, but I'm not for sure. So I just finished having lunch at Neiman Marcus Zodiac Restaurant. Y'all talk about fancy. Yes, that's me. Um, that my car. So it was fancy. Really fancy. Like we had consomme before we ate. I'm like, but of course we will. And like they put the forks in all the right places. So yeah, it was fun. Huh. Oh, that must be my, my ticket for parking. Cause I couldn't find valet. I was going to valet park, but I could not find the valet entrance. And as it turns out, it was on, um, Commerce street, not main street, which is where I was going to. 
So in my GPS, I put Main Street. And anyway, does not matter. We got here. We parked in this lot right across the street. It was just a little bit of a, just walk across, literally walk across the street and then you're at Neiman Marcus. What I did not know though, is that at Neiman Marcus, you can only pay with cash or with a Neiman Marcus card. You can't pay with Visa or MasterCard. I was like, what? I did not know that. So, um, I'm going to now exit. I'm getting my stuff ready because I don't want to be that person in line fumbling for my card and fumbling for my little ticket thing. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. So I hope you had a great day so far. I have had an awesome day. I'm going to go back to the office. I'm going to do a couple things and then I'm going to leave because um, I don't need more candy, but I need to clean up my house <laughs> and I need to get stuff ready for Easter in that way. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now I have just finished eating lunch at the Zodiac restaurant in Nima Marcus. I think I just told you that. It was awesome. It was very fancy though. They had like consomme to begin the meal and it had like this little, little tiny biscuit. Um, if you saw my Instagram, you would see some of the food that I had. It was yummy, but uh, it's kind of fancy. And then the lemon cake was really fresh tasting and um, a nice light light dessert for this summer day because it's like 84 degrees up. It's 84 degrees where I am and I'm, I'm not in the sun yet. So, um, let's see how, let's see how hot it really is. Shall we? It says, what? Oh, 88. So yeah, almost 90 y'all. What? It's only April. So now I'm going to head back to the office. I've got a couple things to do and then I'm going to leave because I need to clean my house. I need to get stuff put away and I need to find, I need to stop by the storage unit and find the, um, um, the box that has the Easter decor in it. And like I was telling you guys, I think yesterday that the Easter decor that I do is just like simple. It's like bunnies. Like that's just what I try to do. And I don't try to do a whole lot of bunnies and I'm kind of particular about the bunnies. I want them just to look a certain way. Just I don't know. Not, I don't know how to explain the, what kind of bunnies I like, but I like bunnies to look a certain way. So I already have some bunnies in my storage unit. At least I think that's where they are. I think this chick might want to park where I'm parked. I don't think she knows how to park. Oh, there she goes. She's doing like the 80 point parking. Like she's like that, you know, backing up again. This is her fourth time to back up, seriously. It's not that hard. Oh, we gotta back up again. One more time, there we go. There. Yeah, there you go. One more time. So, <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not parked good. Yeah, you're gonna have to back it up. Straighten that puppy out. She's like, like, oh, she's like really close to that car. Anyway, um, getting up in like the little circle to come up to this level, um, I was like really close to concrete on both sides. I'm like, is this even big enough for my car? Seriously, I feel like I'm gonna scrape it. But anyway, okay, I'm rambling. I need to get some stuff done, so let's go. Hey, everyone. Hey, y'all. I'm back at the storage unit. I don't think it is here. I have rarely seen anybody here. And I feel like I come often-ish, but I'm trying to see if they have, if they have, let me see if they have at this storage unit. Let me see if I, if I can find in our storage unit the Easter stuff. Because Marvin looked in lights, please. Thank you. Marvin said in our garage, all he could find was the Easter tree thing. Some like little wood tree thing that I have. So I was like, okay. We need more than that. Um, I mean, we don't have to have it. I have other stuff in there. Give me one hand. I'm so strong. Um, please let it be cut. It should be in like a... Dang. I think it's on the bottom. <laughs> so that's the top of the pile. That's just some bedding that can be like one of the last things I bring over. That's some office stuff, which I could or could not take at this time. 
Some Coca-Cola stuff right in that one. That's NYX. Some memorabilia stuff. Not sure. Probably more memorabilia stuff. And Easter. Down there. Not quite on the bottom, but you got pretty close. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this out by myself. We're going to see. Success! I did it. And I've been... I just moved stuff around. That's how I got it out. So, now I'm going to load it up on the cart thingy here. And figure out how to put it in the back seat. Because I don't want to rip the back seat or do anything to it. And... I might take home some of the art as well so we can get that hung up. Um, a little tired. That was a workout. I was gonna take home our Oh The Places Will Go map and I was gonna take home the blessed one where we put all our family pictures on there and my cork board which is right back here. But I, I think let's just go ahead and focus on the one thing I came for and we'll get the rest another time because there's plenty of stuff for me to worry about putting up and putting together I'm looking to make sure I'm not leaving anything in the way of the door but there's plenty of stuff for me to put up and put away already without me bringing home some extra stuff to hang such as that so I just I'm proud of myself because normally I'd be like We'll take that too. What's one more thing? One more thing. One more thing I do not need. How about that? There we go. Enough time to break a sweat. <laughs> okay. All right. We are locked and ready to go. So now I'll go home and I'll unpack some of this stuff and. I'm going to go ahead and move a couple things out. See, I already have, I have stuff to do. There's an end table that I'm going to move out into the garage. And there is a... Oh, the bookcase needs to go out. That was in the guest bedroom bathroom, the Jack and Jill. And there's something else. Oh, that bench that needs to be moved out to the garage. So, things to do. That's why I didn't need to bring home... Like, oh, let's hang this. No, let's not and say we did. We can do that later. Let's take care of what we already got going on right now, please. So, I'm going to go home. I think we're just going to have leftovers. And what you want to bet I put something on the back seat? I have a blanket. Okay, so I'm going to put the blanket down. I'm going to put this thing on there. And then we're going to go, I'm going to go return that. And then we're going to go home. But I'm going to lock the door first. So I was just trying to do some test shots in the office because um, what I was thinking was, originally I was thinking, oh, I'm going to make this my filming wall. But as you can see, I had the plug there, which would like make my filming wall either. I'd have, I don't know. It just, I don't, wouldn't want the plug there. So I have this other wall here, which is, I close this door. I have all the way from over here to over there so I could in theory just set up and film right there and have a plain background and then I could also maybe hang something so I could like have a hanging background as well so I was trying to figure out like how far away would the camera have to be um, I do have the desk that Marvin put together for me it's not as like mobile as I was thinking it was gonna be. Whoa, sorry guys. I know I'm causing a lot of noise. It's not as easy to move as I thought like, oh, I'll just like lift it up and turn it around. It's not that simple to lift it up, but I could also buy a really small card table maybe, or I could buy just like a little, we have TV trays that I could possibly use to do that. We don't have to have the fan going. I was thinking, um, maybe just like a little card table or possibly just using the TV trays that we have to, 
um, if I need to set something down to film a video, which I would probably like 99% of the time want something in front of me, my notes or whatever. So I'll figure that out later. But right now that office is coming along. Oh, I was gonna show you guys, sorry. So in my mind, I've already kind of set out some stuff. So like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna put here, but possibly the, um, I don't know because see, like it has this little area right here that's set back so that the refrigerator sets more in line with counter depth. So I thought, oh, I could put like a, you know, a small set of shelves here or something, which I still could do that, but I'm just not sure. So I thought about putting the, um, Oh, the places will go like have another sign made that says sign made that says, Oh, the places will go instead of Oh, the places you'll go. And then I'll put our big us map and with all the push pins in it. And I could just like put it so it's so not to climb up to get to it. I could just put it like, you know, right there, <laughs> like that kind of like right here and then put the sign up like above there. Oh, the places you'll go. And, but I don't know what I would put down here. Not that I have to put anything, to be honest. I could just leave it blank. Blank or just empty. And then over here, uh, above my desk, I'm going to put my corkboard. So I'm gonna move this down just slightly. Once I get the corkboard and see how big it is, because I don't want the corkboard like right here next to it. I want it like, you know, that far off. And so however, wherever the corkboard sets, then I'll line up my desk underneath it. And then over there, I'm gonna put the, <laughs> the cat was playing in the little toy and it just toppled over. Uh, he's fine, he's fine. So I thought about putting the bookcase that Marvin is uh, redoing for me. My dad made that in January of 1986. And so it's 33 years old. So he's gonna put it, uh, Marvin's just painting it white for me the same white as like the trim and stuff. And he's gonna put that there. And that's where I'll put like all my Nancy Drews and stuff like that and whatever other books. And then over on in that corner is where I'm gonna put like a stand up mirror and I have my little ottoman. Ottoman's pink, but it's just covered right now until the cats get used to and don't mess with it. And so um, then I'll have like a full length mirror over there. So when I do outfit of the day shots or if I do any like lookbook shots or anything like that, I'll have a space to do that. And then I'm just gonna leave this wall blank because I'll use that as my filming background for a lot of my stuff. And that way I can set up, if I want to, I could set up one of those rods with like the curtain backdrop or I could just change out the backdrop. And um, maybe I'll use this portion of the wall to do like flat lays and things like that. Not entirely sure, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. And um, so that's that. And in here we have the guest bedroom. Just feels really warm and kind of stuffy in the house. I don't know why. Um, maybe because it's warming up in Texas. So we opted not to get a second nightstand because this room is rarely going to be used and that just to me seems silly because we could just put you know i mean we don't need one on both sides it, this room is not going to hardly be used unless we have guests come over which we are having guests in eight days so in like a week we'll have um actually yeah a week from tomorrow what and anna has not been back to texas in I couldn't even tell you the last time she was back in Texas. So this will be exciting and fun. And so we've got the guest bed set up. Yes, I have junk on it. This will be cleared in the next few days. Obviously it's gonna have to be because they're coming. And I've gotta schedule the uh, tech guys to come and put up the TV for me. And I have to clear out, finish clearing out. I started, but I have to finish clearing out the bathroom area because um, we just, Obviously, we have junk here. I don't have to have the office cleared out just yet because uh, that's not going to be used. But then like three weeks, I guess three weeks from tomorrow or four weeks, probably four weeks from tomorrow, 
I can't remember the date exactly. But anyways, Catherine's coming. That's the baby triplet. So the oldest is tri oldest triplet is coming in a week. And then the baby triplet is coming in like a month. So I'll have to have that room because her boyfriend's going to stay in here. Uh, don't let the cats come in here hardly at all. He's allergic to cats. So we're going to have him stay in here. And then I'll just do like an air mattress or something for her in my office. And... Um, hope for the best <laughs> so, hopefully he won't be too like sneezy and allergic to the cats i don't know but um, i also need to clear this out a little bit my original plan is to use it primarily for decor storage and um, i'll put our luggage and our travel stuff in here so it's mostly for travel and then if i have extra decor stuff or whatever i can just put it on the top shelf i shouldn't really have that much because I don't intend on keeping a whole lot of decor stuff. I will keep that in totes and <laughs> totes, totes my goats. I don't know. I, I, there's like a saying trying to come to my mind and I can't think of it. Anyway, I'll also put the little kids, their toys in there. Cause I've got like Barbies, um, matchbox cars and stuff like that. So I'll put that in, um, this green tote over here and I'll stick that in the closet as well. So they'll have a, or maybe I'll put their toy box in that corner. Maybe I'll buy like a cute little basket or something and just put their toys all in that. That's an idea. They're coming um, a week from this Friday. I'm having the whole family over. There's gonna be like 30 or so of us or, or more. So um, that's the first time we've had that big of a crowd at our house at one time. It'll be the first event we've ever, family event we've ever held at the house. So I'm really super excited. But of course, I've just got to get some more decor stuff, kind of settle down and buy, um, I don't have to buy anything more, actually. I want to buy more stuff, but um, I'm going to wait on it because we're going to probably have like an open house. I'm seeing stuff that needs to be fixed, like tape in bed I can see hmm well we'll have to talk to the builder about that he said has to come out in like another week and kind of review everything and we're gonna point out stuff that like oh my gosh this needs to be fixed we just noticed this and this is not right or whatever and then they come out like a year after and then they they look at stuff again so there's not a whole lot that we actually have noticed we've been pretty happy with the build overall so um, pretty I'm, I'm very happy about that because I've heard horror stories from other people where they're like, oh my gosh, my builder was blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, mine, mine's been pretty good. But there's things that I want in here. Like I want um, a sign that says be our guest. I want a white lampshade versus the cream colored lampshade because that went with our other stuff. I still don't know where I'm gonna put this mirror. I've got a mirror down here. So there's like different things that I want to put up and like put away, but I just haven't decided what I want to do yet. So, but definitely have to clean out this area and the living room kitchen within a week. So I'm going to stay up for just a little bit working on that. And in between, I'll try to edit a video, but tomorrow I've committed to conducting a tour. I don't know how this is going to work out because I'm going to meet folks over at this place down the street and spend about 30 minutes with them showing them <laughs> this area and then somebody's going to take you back. I don't know how that's going to work and I don't know exactly what I'm going to say, but it's going to be fun. So I need to prep for that and I need to clean up this mess. So, um, and I also have to prep for Easter. So I'm going to say good night. And I hope that you're kind to others, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.